Thank you. Moving on to a major story that we've been following for you all day long. Governor Moore and other local leaders announced their final recommendations for the Work Zone Safety Group. This group was formed in April after a driver killed six construction workers after crashing into a work zone. And investigators did determine speed was a factor in that crash. And since that incident, local leaders now have been focused on finding ways to make work zones safer. WJZ live at 11 o'clock tonight. Caroline Forback joins us with a new push and how it could impact you. Caroline. Well, Rick and Vic, these recommendations take into account input from about 2,000 people who completed a survey. They aim to address two different parts of the issue, how to physically protect work zones and how to get through to drivers so that slowing down in a work zone becomes second nature. She hated it. She hated working there because it was so like nerve-wracking for her that like something could happen so easily. That's Nora DiMaggio speaking with WJZ investigator Mike Helgren three months after her mother Sybil DiMaggio's fears about working on 695 came true. A driver crashed into her work zone, killing her and five other construction workers. <laughs> Lieutenant Governor Aruna Miller addressed family members of the victims at a press conference Friday. Your loss is our loss. The loss left a lasting impact on the entire state, pushing lawmakers to address shortcomings when it comes to work zone safety. I'm a transportation engineer, and I've seen way too many times the close calls during my experience. MDOT responder Howard Bostick says he had a close call in a work zone last year. Somebody came down there, tried to get over at the last minute, and they hit my truck at 70 miles an hour. Luckily, I wasn't in it. Thanks to input from Bostick and other roadway workers, as well as law enforcement and highway safety experts, Governor Wes Moore said starting now, drivers can expect to see an increased presence of Maryland state troopers in work zones. The Maryland Department of Education will implement a new work zone safety campaign in schools. And Moore announced $500,000 in immediate funding for work zone safety awareness and educational campaigns. Now, everything that I just mentioned is just a down payment. Changing culture doesn't happen overnight. And I also know this, changing culture is also going to require changes of Maryland drivers. Recommendations also include increasing the number of speed cameras in the state and raising the citation for speeding in a work zone. Every one of us plays a part in work zone safety. Every one of us has a responsibility to ensure drivers and all who work at construction sites reach their most important destination, home. And you can find a full list of the recommendations for work zone safety on our website, WJZ.com. For now, reporting live here in Baltimore, Caroline Forback for WJZ.